Ken Holman, Mike Beer, race number 10 at Belmont Park on Saturday is the grade three Athenia, mile and an eighth on the inner turf, weather permitting. Let's take a look at this field of fillies and mares. It's a short field. The six spice is nice as one to five. She's entered main track only, and she'll be a prohibitive favorite if she, this race is washed to the main track. On turf, however, Pocket Square is three to five on the morning line off a win for Chad Brown. This horse only beaten three lengths in the Diana two back. Yeah, I mean, she is, I guess she's the horse to beat on, on turf, Dan. Um, I guess you would say she's been a little bit of a disappointment since she uh, arrived stateside for Chad Brown, but this just might be the right spot. Timeform US doesn't see this pace being fast. As a matter of fact, they see no speed whatsoever. And I have to agree. I mean, Pocket Square is not a front runner by any stretch of the imagination. Timeform US has her on the lead. I just think stand for the flags, gotta go. Her form is very, very suspect as she makes her first start on the turf. I think if she runs on grass, they're just going to send her and hope for the best. Yeah, I mean, I guess that would be what they would have to do. Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to run her on turf or not. Maybe they just entered just in case. But if they do run her on turf, and I don't expect her to be competitive with this field, but I guess they'll put her on the lead. I'm expecting this field to be pretty well bunched turning for home. It could turn into a... Uh, it's a test of stamina as well as ability. Let's take a look at Lake Lucerne's last race at Saratoga on September the 1st. Two other than, well, I was proud of her effort, Mike. She was kind of hung wide all the way around the backstretch into the turn. She's going to look in a hurry in the eye here, and she's just going to get her nose down. It was a nice sustained run for Lake Lucerne. It was not a strong field. No, I don't love the uh, the horse that she's going to out-duel here to the wire um, in a hurry, but she does get the job done. If nothing else, then I just, I really appreciated the fact that she got herself into the race earlier this time. Her prior, you know, four or five starts over here, just way too far away. Although she had run well in some of those races, but just was always leaving herself with a lot to do. That was not the case last time. Tyler Gaffleyon got her involved up the backstretch, and she was, I thought, I thought she ran very well to win that race. This is a much tougher field. Chad Brown has the favorite pocket square. He also has the two, Miss Tehran, coming off this race. Runner-up effort in the Miss Liberty at Monmouth. She's down on the inside, but she's going to have to get all the way to the outside here. And she's going to come with a good run to finish second by Vigilante's Way, who's a useful horse for the McGahee Barn. I thought all in all, Miss Tehran ran well here, and she might be a little bit of a sleeper with Manny Franco aboard. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, you know, she doesn't have a lot of speed, so I guess that could work against her. Um, and trips are very important to her, Dan. Um, I thought she ran well in that race, though. Not, not only is Vigilante's Way a really good horse, but this horse, we picked it up on the stretch when she had already gotten to the outside. Um, her rider was trying to get her out of traffic around the second turn, and he just couldn't do it. Um, she was behind the winner. She got shuffled back. She lost position. Then she had to try to re-rail in there. I thought she ran really well in there. I also thought she ran really well at Saratoga when she won very easily two starts back. I think she has talent. She just needs the right trip. Made in Italy, the number three, will be making her third start in North America for Graham Motion. Her North American debut was a good effort going a mile and a quarter. She was odds on off that race at Delaware last time out. And take us through the trip. Well, I mean, I I felt like I could go either way on her trip. Let's say that, Dan. She got closer to the pace than she had in her stateside debut, sort of in behind the leaders all the way. It did look like she had a horse. She didn't come clear at the right time. Her rider tried to wait for that gap that they have in the stretch of Delaware. They got to that gap, and she couldn't get through there either and had to steady again. I don't know. Um, I guess you could argue that she hasn't had the best of trips in either of her starts since she got over here. Uh, the question now is, is she good enough to beat some of these horses? Because um, I think that's a that's a very big question. I do wonder if Junior Alvarado will try to get her close to the pace. And if no one wants it, then maybe Alvarado with his green thumb will go right to the front on Made in Italy. Here's Pocket Square's win last time out, getting the class relief after facing divisional leader Altica in the Diana. We see Pocket Square on the outside. She's just going to run down these overmatched horses at a very short price. And I think this is exactly what Chad Brown wanted to see. Gives him the confidence to hike her back up into the graded ranks. It's a confidence boost for sure over horses that just had no hope of going with their confident ride the entire way. Easy win at a very short price. It was at nine furlongs as well. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what what she does. You know, she's going to be a very short price. Her allowance win at Keeneland in April was really good. It led to her being favored in the just a game where she didn't run well. I didn't think she ran well in the Diana either. 
Um, obviously, another easy allowance win last time. I think she has an awful lot to prove, Dan, for a horse who's going to be three to five. It's been a big year for trainer Rob Actress, upset Malathot in the coaching club American Oaks with Maracuja. This might even be a bigger surprise. Stand for the flag, making her turf debut in her 18th lifetime start. Maybe we'll see some speed. Yeah, maybe they'll just put her on the front and hope for the best. I'll be surprised if she could uh, wire this field. Spice is nice as in her main track only, so we'll go to our top picks in the grade three. Athenia, I liked what you said about Lake Lucerne, that she was able to stay closer to the pace. I think if there's no pace on in here, she won't be too far behind. She'll be bunched up with everyone else, and maybe she'll kick hard in the stretch. The price has got to be right for Lake Lucerne. I wonder if Godolphin is another one in the Miss Tehran's your top pick. A good effort last time out. A little bit of trouble, as you mentioned, at a much better price than the favorite. Yeah, she's going to be a, a better price than her stable mate. And I'm not so sure that she isn't almost as good as that horse. We'll see. Again, I think trips are very important to her. Um, and so that could work against her here. But I do think she has some talent. Two, four, three, one for Mike. One, four, two, three for me. The grade three Athenia. One of two graded races at Belmont on Saturday. Good luck. 